Moschino Awomo? Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a re-review today on this Moschino Awomo. Now, it's been a little while since my first review. I think it was several years ago. I've been trying this fragrance out again, trying to pin it down. This one is a classic gentleman style fragrance in my opinion. It just smells very classic. Almost any guy could pull it off. It smells like it's something for somebody 21 plus, but at the same time, it has a little bit of elements that I think a younger guy could pull it off if he really wanted to. It's just generally a gentleman style fragrance to me. The main notes we got here are kumquat, kumquats, kumquats, musk, silomen, and aldehydes. Now, in my opinion, the aldehydes, it kind of almost gives it a fizzy style feel, similar to like a soda or something, a gentleman style fizzy soda with like a little bit of fruit in there. I, I assume it's the kumquat. I haven't really smelled too many fragrances with kumquat in it, but it's just a general fruity, a little bit of that fizziness from soda in there in a good way. I know that that would probably turn some people off, but in a good way, I do really enjoy this one. Let's go over the pros of this fragrance. It's got that nice classic gentleman style smell. It's just really hard to say anything bad about it. I think anybody going for like a general man style smell is going to appreciate this one. Maybe if you get up close, you smell those aldehydes, you kind of don't know how to really feel about it, but it just smells so, so good. And I don't really mind the aldehydes. It almost gives it, I would think I would when you say soda fizz, that kind of would turn me off, but I actually really do like the whole smell of this one. It's super, super affordable. This is a cheapie. I don't know how much it is now. Now, but I think I paid around $25 for it shipped when I first bought it. It has a very strong opening in my opinion. A few sprays of this, everyone's gonna smell it. Just the opening, but the opening is very strong. Got a strong opening, it's just got a really nice smell that I think almost anybody looking for a gentleman style smell would enjoy and is super affordable. Really nice across the board. Now let's get into the cons. I wouldn't say this, this fragrance is very good for sweating. For some reason, it's just one of those ones where I just really wouldn't wanna mix this one with sweat. I know you really shouldn't use a perfume sweating a lot, but a lot of fragrances actually smell pretty good with sweat or okay with sweat. This one's definitely not, in my opinion, so I guess you would say it's more of a colder weather style fragrance. I would agree with that. Usually you don't wear gentleman style fragrances to go sweat anywhere. And it doesn't really last that long, probably a little over an hour to maybe about 90 minutes, but that opening is very, very strong. And you do have a little bit of it will linger on you. So if you get close to somebody, maybe pass them by them, they are gonna smell it past that little initial opening. It does die down pretty quick, but like I was saying in the pros, it does have a pretty big bomb smell for you know a good 45 minutes to an hour. If you overspray on it, it's kind of might be too much. Kind of reminds me of Versace Perome because Versace Perome, you spray it, it's way too strong and then it just goes away really quick. It's nice that at least the opening was pretty strong for this one, so it kind of doesn't just dump it all right down the drain. For the smell, I know it's hard for me to recommend this, guys. I might put this in my top cheap list. I would give this an eight out of 10 for smell, which is actually a little higher than I would have thought. It's hard for me to come across anything bad with the smell. It has a little bit of its own style DNA, but it's a little bit familiar at the same time. I just really enjoy it. I got to give it an 8 out of 10. Likeability. For some reason, I would have thought the likeability was going to be higher because of how much I like it, but I'd give likeability about a 7.5. Some people are a little bit turned off for some reason, and I've never gotten a compliment, which is a little bit weird because I thought this fragrance smells very good. So 7.5 for likeability. Longevity and projection. I'm going to give this a 6.5 to a 7. I'm only going to even consider that 7 because the opening of this fragrance is really, really strong. The longevity it just does not last very long. So it's a gentleman's style fragrance it's not really like a lounge wear style fragrance or a gym style fragrance in my opinion or maybe even a hot weather style fragrance great for a little bit dressed up a little bit gentlemany what do you think of Moschino Awomo I think it's a solid fragrance I would consider putting it in my top 10 but it's not something that screams at me that I gotta put it in my top five for me personally what did you think of Moschino Awomo down below in 2020 did they reformulate it did they not reformulate it I think I got this one in 2017 I'll be very interested to see your opinion down below we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys I hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully i'm having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace <laughs>